The ability to see is vital to many things we do, from picking out our clothes in the morning, to browsing the internet or driving on the road. However, it can be taken away by an incurable, rare genetic disease known as retinitis pigmentosa, RP. RP affects one in every 4,000 people and is caused when light-sensing cells in the eye are lost. When light from our environment hits the retina, which lines the back of the eye, light-sensing nerve cells called photoreceptors transform the light signal into electrical impulses. Through a series of connections, these signals are transmitted back to the brain where additional processing results in the experience of sight. In patients with RP, light-sensing cells degenerate, breaking the connections between the eye and the brain. The degeneration of light-sensing cells can be triggered by mutations in more than 60 different genes that cause the cells to fail to function properly and die. Light-sensing cells come in two forms, cones and rods. Cones allow us to see in daylight, and rods provide nighttime vision. Because rods are concentrated in the outer portion of the retina and are triggered by dim light, their degeneration affects peripheral and night vision. When the more centrally located cones, responsible for color and sharp central vision, degenerate color perception and central vision are lost. Night blindness is one of the earliest and most frequent symptoms of RP, since the rods degenerate first. Over time, RP patients experience further vision deterioration, develop tunnel vision, and eventually legal blindness by the age of 40. Loss of sight is a traumatic event that dramatically affects one's quality of life, making it nearly impossible for afflicted individuals to perform daily tasks independently or engage with the world around them. Apparently, there is no cure for RP. RP patients need better therapies that utilize the tools of tomorrow. With funding from Proposition 71 and the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine, CIRM, California researchers are seeking to do just that. The team of scientists at UC Irvine, directed by Dr. Henry Clausen, are leading the charge. They are using specialized stem cells called retinal progenitor cells, which can be transplanted into the eye and do several things. First, they can support the sick and dying photoreceptors to restore their health. Second, these transplanted stem cells can eventually develop into light-sensing cells themselves. By restoring the health of light-sensing cells in the retina, the stem cell therapy attempts to preserve the connections between the eye and the brain, and the ability to see. Retinitis pigmentosa represents a proving ground disease for stem cell therapy for a number of reasons. First, the degeneration of light-sensing cells in RP is similar to the degeneration of other types of cells in the brain and the nervous system. Thus, RP can serve as a model for common types of neurodegeneration. Second, previous research has already demonstrated this transplantation techniques in animals. Thus, the scientific feasibility of treating RP in this way has already been established in principle. This approach is currently being tested in a human clinical trial the first to test the use of retinal progenitor cells to treat retinitis pigmentosa. This phase 1-2A trial is designed to evaluate the safety of this therapy. This effort is in conjunction with CIRM's new Alpha Stem Cell Clinic Network, which is designed to accelerate the time frame of clinical trials, getting safe and effective therapies to patients as quickly as possible. As scientists and patient advocates build on the progress that Proposition 71 funding has enabled, we must keep the momentum going, understanding that there is still much work to be done. We must remember that human trials will celebrate successes, but barriers will surface along with complications and challenges, so patience and understanding of the scientific discovery process are essential.